welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time, I know, but I finally um, have broken up for the school holidays, so I can finally enjoy my Christmas time. So I thought I would do some festive colouring with you all. So I'm going to do this picture, which is from um, a Whimsy Girls Christmas colouring book, Festive Girls, Fairies and More, from um, Hannah Lynn. And this picture is the last picture in the book, and it is called partridge in a pear tree as there is a partridge and there is a pear tree so pretty simple so um i'm just going to do some marker base for the background well marker bases for um everything but not the background um i have put a thick piece of cardboard underneath just because the alcohol markers will go through i'm using a whole bunch of alcohol markers different ones i've got some touch fives like this one here i have one of these artiste do do crafts which i got from hobby craft and then the other ones is i'm actually going to use some copic chows that i've had for a very long time i finally swatched them out the other day because i've had these for years they've just been lying there and i thought i should use these so um i looked at the colors i've planned all the colors out for everything um marker base wise so i was just having a look through my book and i thought my swatch book and I thought well, these are the colours I'm going to use so that's what I'm going to use for it so we will start with this girl and we'll start with her hat um, I'm really hoping my touch five markers haven't dried out because quite a few of them have so hopefully this will still be juicy so I'm using the pale lilac um, I'll see if I can zoom in a little now you probably can't see, it says pale lilac, like it's 147 out of the touch 5 markers. Um, I'm going to use the fine end. So basically her hat, scarf and mittens, they're all going to be a purple colour, her mittens there. Um, her jumper's going to be a light blue. And I haven't really figured out what colour the skirt at the bottom is going to be yet, so it's not much of a skirt on there anyway, so I'll have to think about that. So um, I'm just going to... Oh no, I think it is kind of running out. No! Right, let me see if the other end is viable. Oh no, the other end is completely dried out. Okay, oh no, this could be a disaster right here. I don't think I'm going to get... Oh, damn it, I'm going to have to like... That's the problem with the touch five markers. Like I've tried lying them down because a lot of them are dried out. I mean, I have to say I've probably hardly even used this pen. So I personally, although these are cheap, I wouldn't bother. Right, so that's gonna go out the window then. So I'm gonna have to figure out a different purple to use. I don't think I've got one that's lighter, light enough though. And also I don't know whether it will work, so hold on. So look at my swatch book a minute. I wanted to use pale lilac. Well, I've got this deep violet. That's the next lightest one I've got. And then the only other purple one. Well, I've got amethyst. But the thing is, is I wanted a lighter purple because I want to do it with pencil over the, to over the top. So I wanted a lighter purple down. <laughs> this is so annoying. Oh, my word. I don't know. I'm going to have to write... We won't bother with the hat for now. I just... No. <laughs> Alright. Well, at least the Copic marker, which this I've had for years and not mo used for a long time, works. So, just so you know, these are genuinely quite good to use. But Touch Fives? No. <laughs> I'm not going to be buying them again, that's for sure. Um, yeah, definitely not going to buy Touch Fives again. They're not bad, they have a good range of colours, but it's just, as I say, they just dry out really quickly for no reason. Like, I don't understand, like, why they've just dried out. Um, because I've had one or two do that. I mean, I was storing them upright, and then I noticed that one end and a few of them had, like, dried out, and it was fine on the other end. So then I thought, oh, okay, I obviously need to store them flat. Um, because all the, these other pens have been, like, stored flat, so... Yeah, I'm really annoyed about that. Um, but I am thinking of getting the rest of the Spectrum Noir, Noir ones because they seem quite good. Because Copics are lovely, but they're very expensive. And if I'm literally just kind of doing base colouring like this, there's no point me spending £300 plus pounds on a pack of these. 
for that. Um, because these are designed to be, you know, used for, like, blending and things like that. I'm not using them for blending, so I kind of feel like it's just a waste of money otherwise. I mean, I bought these because, um, back when I was at, um, university, I tried my hand at drawing anime characters. Um, I was not very good. I mean, I wasn't a I wasn't terrible. I could copy, like, a picture, if I, like, you know, I would look at it and could copy I wouldn't trace it. That I could do, but trying to do my own characters myself was a bit tricky. Um, but I saw, like, because I was on, what's it called? There's an art website, Deviant Art. Like, I would go on there quite a lot and see people's drawings. And a lot of the time they used um, these sort of markers. So that's why I was like, oh, okay. Mm, yeah, I will do it blue. I was just debating about whether to do this blue or a different colour, but I think we'll do it. She'll, she'll just have all blue. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I was debating about whether to do that or not um I oh know it's a bit I'm gonna say this is a bit if I jump in here I got all of it yeah so um I saw that some people on there they used um Copic markers they also use like um online hold on computer um like paint shop pro they use that quite a lot to cut like digital art coloring and then Prisma Colours, that's where I heard about Prisma Colours from before, that's why I happen to have some, is from that time. So it was quite nice when I came to colouring, I already had some good sort of pencils. I don't know, hmm, I'm just thinking it's a bit dark, isn't it? Oh, right, you can't really see me do the whole jumper. Oh, I did that bit at the bottom, sorry, you missed that bit, guys. Right, well, I'm going to do her face now anyway, so we might as well just keep it up there. So for this one, I'm using this Copic. Oh, and this Copic I was using in case you wanted to, if you have Copics and you wanted to use them, is B12 Ice Blue. Oh, I didn't realise I had names. Ice Blue. I'm going to have to write that in the swatch book then. Um, so now I'm going to use Skin White, which is E00 for her skin. So we'll use that. Um, and if you're going to use Copic markers or any sort of alcohol marker in your books, you have to be really quick with them so that you don't get like streaks. <laughs> That's something I've just learned. You just be really quick. And really do put a thick amount of like paper or card underneath because they will bleed through onto that and then it won't go onto your next picture. Because <laughs> you don't want to do that. So luckily we don't have a lot of her skin to do. Which is quite nice. So I hope everybody's um, getting ready for Christmas and that they're enjoying themselves and will be enjoying themselves. I know some people might have to work Christmas Eve or Christmas Day even depending on your job. My my mum, because she's a nurse, um, she is going to work a night shift on Christmas Eve. So she'll be here Christmas Day but unfortunately she'll end up having to sleep for some of it. So um, now I'm going to use this Artiste Do, Do Crafts. Connoisseurs of colour apparently. Um, I'm going to use this one and this one is E11 Caramel. This is part of a skin colour set but I wanted her hair to kind of be like a sort of a brown but like a different kind of brown. I guess like this caramel sort of brown so um, hopefully I can find some colour pencils to complement it how I would like it to be. I'm still not sure what colours do her eyes <laughs> yet. So yeah, my um, bless my mum, she always ends up finishing late as well, so she might not get home. She's supposed to finish work at 7 in the morning, but she might not actually get home till about 10 o'clock, um, maybe. So she'll have to like quickly have a shower, open her presents, and then she'll go to sleep. Because we have our Christmas dinner, we have it around lunchtime, like 2 o'clock I'm guessing. Well, sometimes we have it about 1, but I think we'll have it obviously a bit later, because um, my mum... Um, will need to sleep so she'll sleep for like a little bit then we'll have a Christmas dinner and I don't know probably oh I'm get, I know I'm getting cocoa for Christmas so <laughs> I've decided we're watching cocoa Christmas day um yeah I have to say there are really not any decent films on at all or even programs on normally like I don't know why, like, normally the last couple of years have been really rubbish for TV. Like, there's hardly been anything decent on at all. Um, and I've had to actually resort to my own movies, either on Netflix or, um, like, you know, 
Blu-ray or something. Um, but like, obviously, you know, you don't spend the whole day watching TV necessarily. But you know, normally there's like a good, there's one or two at least decent films on, and there may be like a Christmas special or something that's all right. But to be fair, most of the Christmas specials are probably okay. I'm just not interested in any of them. So if you are interested in that sort of thing, then you'll enjoy them. But um, I think like Mrs. Brown's Boys is one. I absolutely hate that show. I think it's terrible. So I'm really sorry if you like that show, but I hate it. I can't stand it. So that would be something that would be on. It's like a comedy show thing. So if you're, I don't think it's out. Well, it might be in like some of the Commonwealth countries might have it, but I don't think they show it in like places like America or Can um maybe Canada, because it is a Commonwealth country. But yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's piece. I'm gonna say that's her hair. I was like, is that part of her hair or a scarf? I'm not really sure, but it's her hair now. Um, yeah. So. There's just tons and tons of like it just seems to be loads of like T V specials of shows I'm not interested in. And then randomly they've got things like we have this um show called The Chase, which I think they do have in America as well. So it's like a quiz show. I love The Chase, but it's on Christmas Day and I'm like, Well that's normal daytime T V. Why is this on Christmas Day? So I mean to be fair, I'm I don't mind. I would rather watch that than some of the Christmas special stuff on there. So I think the only film that I'm interested in seeing is The Muppet Christmas Carol, and that is the only one that's playing that's actually okay. <laughs> so I'm very sad about that, but on the plus side, <laughs> maybe we'll play more games and things this year, I don't know. Um although I'm getting Spyro, the the remastered PS1 game for PS4, so I may spend my time playing on that <laughs> instead. I'm really tempted to bring my PlayStation downstairs in the living room so I can play it with a Christmas tree and all that. Um right, so we can right <laughs> we can attempt to do the leaves um on this tree. I'm again using a touch five marker. Whether it will work, I don't know. So maybe what I'll do is on this in this swatch book at the back, I might just um test it to see if it works because I don't want to start using it and then oh no that is completely dry that end oh this is so sad because like all the light all the lighter colours are literally in the set that is dead right I'm gonna check all the dead markers on the floor and that way then I know right <laughs> will this marker work yellow green. Oh, we might be in luck with this one. Yes, yellow green to the rescue. Right, I was going to use that for the pears, but now I don't know whether to use that for the leaves as well. Decisions, decisions. I think we're, well, actually, what other colours can I use for the leaves? Could I use instead? I could use that leaf green, but I kind of wanted them to be more... Mm, we'll use the leaf green from the other set. Okay, so I'll, I'll, do, I'll just do the pears in this colour. I'm going to have to go through all the touch fives and see which ones work and which ones don't. But I'm glad at least, at least we've got somewhere. So this is pale, sorry, yellow green, number 48. Is that a pear? Or a leaf? This is a pear. There's only three pears on this tree. That kind of looks like a pear, but... And that looks like a pear. I want to say they're leaves. We'll just go with three pairs. So, um, I think there's also some meant to be snow falling like all over her. So I'll put that in at the end. So, um, although to be fair, I'm not sure. Ow! Oh, I just caught my finger in the lid. How that really hurt. <laughs> um, yeah, because there's snow all over this. But I might. I was thinking of doing an acrylic background, so I might do it differently. Um, okay, so the partridge I was going to do grey because I looked up a picture of them. They seem to be grey-brown, but I'm going to go with the grey. So we've got this cool grey C3 and this is the Copic Chow one. So we'll just go over. It's weird, the nibs on these are like really different. They're like kind of bendy. Mm, very strange. I never really use those chisel tips ever. I kind of just prefer using these ones. Okay, so that's that done. So I'll just show you, like, how... Can you see that? That's gone through on the cardboard underneath. So, um, good thing we sorted that one out. So, um, I've got... Now, I was going to use a touch five for the branch, so we'll... We'll see if it works. Oh, it looks like it is. This is yellow ochre, which is 101. So it looks, don't worry, when it dries it will look a bit more brownie, 
but it just comes out all kind of really I'm thinking of something gross here that it could look like <laughs> if you get me and it looks like that um yeah so um I do hope that everyone here is going to have a lovely Christmas and that you get lots of amazing things I know a lot of people will be getting colouring things um, I've got a few colouring things of that I'm getting. Um, I've also seemed to have somehow managed to buy myself quite a few books in December. And I don't... I mean, I, I buy um books every now and then. I've got some for Christmas because I thought, well, I might as well have some for Christmas. Because I didn't know what I wanted. Um, and now I'm going to use Natural Oak 91 for the um, dirt. And I thought, oh yeah, yeah, I'll use this. I'll get this, and so Hannah Lynn has released her Steampunk Darling book, so I've ordered that, but because it was under £10, and I wanted free delivery, so there's no point really paying £3 for post and packaging when you could use that towards a book, so I bought another book, so I got a Disney one, one of those French Disney ones, so that, and I think that's coming tomorrow. Then I managed to find that um, Villain San, the Dutch version, was in stock again on Amazon. They had one copy left, so I ordered that. So that came yesterday. And then I found the Chinese book with the flower girls that Maeve Brock's been colouring in. I got that, and that's coming soon. <laughs> I'm going to use this blue, this Copic Child B39 blue for the pot, which you might not be able to see, so let's move that so you can see it. Um, so, um, I have those books coming, and then, that, oh, then I got Fairy Miracles the other day, which I think you've seen, um, in my latest haul, you would have seen that, um, in there, and then, obviously I've got a couple, I've got four books that I'm definitely getting for Christmas as well, so, um, I'm just, I feel like I've had so many books and then obviously I've got, a, I just, yeah, I just feel like I've bought myself so many books recently. Um, so I think in the new, I, I will obviously be, continue to get more and more books because they keep bringing books I like out. But I think what I'm going to really try so hard to do is for like at least the first two, three months of the year not to buy any books. Just, and only because I've, I'm, I really want to try and colour more pictures because there's so many books I have and so many pictures I want to colour in them and obviously I can't colour them all in, at once, I wish I could but unfortunately I don't have eight arms so um, I thought the best way for me to actually colour in some of them is to actually maybe stop buying so many books and then I will have the time. So um, I have this pack here of Spectrum Noir markers. I got these for £20. Um, oh, I don't think I showed these in my haul, or did I? I don't think I... Oh, maybe I did. I might have showed... I can't remember. I bought them a, like a month or so ago. And they were originally... 34 99 apparently. Um, I think they're about £25-ish on Amazon. But I got these for 20 in like a TK Maxx store. Um, I know it's called TJ Maxx in America, but it's called TK Maxx here. Don't know why they changed the names in both countries. If you ask me, one name would have been fine. Um, so yeah, unfortunately the one in my city does not have them. They That art section has like disappeared basically because it's a really small one. So they've kind of just like not bothered. So I was going to use a green from this one. Um, and I'm thinking about getting that Spectrum Noir tray to put these in, but then I've got to think of where I would put it. So <laughs> I might just keep them in the box for the moment, but then I think it would be easier to get them to get them if they were in the tray. It's only because then I would have to keep the tray on the desk and my stickles are now all, all my stickles. I've organised them in these little baskets, which I got from Primark that were £2.50. They're all in here now and they're on my desk so I can get to them easily which I'm really happy about. So what I wanted leaf green. So let's get leaf green out. There we go, leaf green. <laughs> Carefully put those to the side and hope they don't all fall at me. Because then I will cry. So leaf green doesn't have a number on it, just the name. So we can use this for all the leaves. 
and then I need to figure out how I'm going to do her purple hat because I want it to be a light purple I just don't have a light purple pen I can use I've only got darker ones I mean I could do it in pencil I suppose the only problem is, is that obviously I've done a bit of it now so <laughs> I don't know how that's going to turn out I think I missed a bit of her hair actually So yes, feel free to tell me what you guys are up to in the comments for Christmas. That would be lovely to hear, like what everyone's doing. Um, gosh, I feel the screen is really bright against these pears, but oh well. It's the, it's, what can I do? It was the only sort of green I had that was kind of lightish. Um, I will do a video um, with all the things I got for Christmas slash December. Um, at some point because I know some people will be interested to see I'm sure what I got I'll be interested to see what other people got because I always like um to see what people get and things like that just because it's like ideas for I know terrible isn't it ideas for you to then buy things well basically we all like to enable everyone um it's just a great way to see what's out there because you know you don't know like the, um if it wasn't for colouring queen actually I think I saw some girl on Instagram she did a quick flip of this Chinese book that um with the flower girl things and I thought oh that looks amazing so I thought well it was a really quick flip so I couldn't get like a proper detailed look at it so I thought oh I'll see if I can find on YouTube like one and then lo and behold it's like colouring queen knew I had seen this book and was like I will do I will have this book and I will have done a flip through of it so luckily um I went on there and literally it was on my recommendations so I looked at that and I just thought wow that looks amazing I have to have it so um that's the thing if we didn't have these videos to show us what was out there, we wouldn't buy anything, which probably is a good thing for some of us, because, to be fair, we probably should try and save our money, but at the same time, you know, we also earn our money, we should be able to spend it. <laughs> Sensibly, though, I mean, and I do, tr I do try to save um, money as well. At least the thing with, with most books is that they're quite inexpensive most of the time. They're generally under £10 or maximum £10. There's a couple that aren't, though. There are a couple that are a little bit pricier. Um, actually, there because I was thinking of... I haven't got Momo Girl and I haven't got... Because there's another Momo Girl that's, Girl that's just come out. I haven't seen a flip through that yet, so I'm not really sure what that looks like but there's also the forest girl too now i like i do quite like those books and i wouldn't mind having them but i think because at the moment they're almost they're over 20 pounds for sure if you want to order them nearly 30 maybe depending on where you're getting them from just because the post and packaging is quite pricey so i am sort of thinking i wouldn't mind them but at the same time i feel like i can live without these books for the moment so um I'm gonna be really good and not get them because again would I have I've got to have time to colour on these books I've just um done a picture in the nice little town Christmas 2 I love that book it's so cute all these little mice they're so sweet um and I feel like a lot of them kind of embody like what I would do like there's one that's wrapped up really warm in their like their mum's wrapped them up in a coat and I'm like yeah that's me going outside I literally don't like to be cold in fact I bought um, a new coat recently a really warm it was it was an expensive one but it it's one that keeps you warm up to like temperatures like minus 20 now it doesn't get super super cold here in the UK but it's cold enough that I wanted a coat where I wouldn't have to be warm and it's great so before I used to have to like layer loads and my coats aren't built because I don't ha I didn't have a proper proper winter coat to be fair um, the coats I had um like you could put a layer like a thickish jumper on but anything more and i wouldn't be able to zip it up but also they tend to be quite short so they go obviously they stop at my waistline so then my bum or i get a draft of air up my my top so um i found you know that wasn't very ideal so um i have decided to buy a proper winter coat and it's longer it covers my bum it doesn't let any air up there um i can literally just wear say a tank top or a, a cami top like a one with really thin straps and nothing else and i am and it can be really really cold outside and i am fine so that's why i'm really happy i've got that coat because then 
you know. And also, should I happen to get the visa for Canada, then I've got a coat sorted. I would buy proper gloves, but I'll wait till I actually, you know, say I'm able to get a said visa because I don't want to spend a load of money on gloves if I'm never going to use them. Because the gloves I have right now are absolutely fine. I have like, um, my gloves are Baloo's um, hands or paws from, um, you know, the Jungle Book because I was in Disneyland and I didn't bring gloves and it was really cold so I bought some blue mittens and I have kept them ever since and they are my gloves and they've got little claws on there really cool um okay so right see if we can think about this hat now I might just have to do it well I've got these colors here you see I've got hydrangea amethyst or regal I could do it the hydrangea one that might look okay I've just literally done the box up, but I'm going to have to undo it now, <laughs> because it's a Spectrum Noir one, and I know it will work, so I think I'm going to use Hydrangea, and that will be fine, that will cover up that, so it won't be, to be fair, it wasn't going to be super pale purple, but I kind of wanted it like, a pale, oh no, to be fair, do I want it more of an amethyst-y colour? Maybe I'll do it amethyst because I think I want it purple purple because that's more of a pink, that's more of a pinky purple. I think I want it more of a purpley purple, so I might do amethyst actually. So I have to go over the the bit that <laughs> didn't work very well. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I think I want it more more purple. Okay, luckily this one was in the top. So this is amethyst again. It has no number. It's just the amethyst one. Right, which end do I want this end? Um, I don't know what colour to do her eyes, I'm really trying to think about what colour I want them, because I'm debating about whether, maybe I should just do them with pencil and not with, not with a marker and then it'll be okay, because then I've got my, I've got plenty of time to think about what colour I'm going to do them, oh that's better, yay, we managed to do her hat purple and salvage, and salvage it, <laughs> The good thing about this book is there are actually two pictures, so if you do kind of mess up on one, you can do another one. I really want to do the Sugar Plum Fairy in here as well, so I feel like I might do that one after this picture with you. So I have been trying my hardest to do a lot of Christmas pictures this December. Um, and I've also taken my time quite a lot on a lot of them, to be fair, because quite normally I've been quite quick with quite a few. I think it's because when I was finishing Enchanted Forest I was using a lot of ink tents and that makes the job so much quicker just because I really wanted to finish the book. Um, so I've been mostly using pencils and it's taken me a lot longer to complete the pictures which is fine because it means you know I can take my time a bit more that I don't feel like I need to finish this picture so quickly so I can get another picture done because actually if I hadn't finished Enchanted Forest in um, November I would I think I would just be on the last picture this weekend, so I would just be finishing up, so I wouldn't have gotten as many of the Christmas pictures done as I would have liked, so I'm kind of glad. But um, I was watching a video with Colin with Elena, and she was talking about how how does she keep motivated to colour, because obviously sometimes we lose our motivation, and sometimes we just like, I don't know what I want to do. Because quite often there's loads of pictures I want to do, and I want them to look a certain way, but then I'm like, well I don't know how to do that. Um, and then I end up just not doing the picture, so I thought that was quite interesting to see how she kept her motivation, I thought it was quite interesting. So she just said that she colours what she wants to colour, and sometimes it might be a simple picture, sometimes it might be a complicated one. She says she uses different mediums, She'll, she won't just work on the same book, so I do have the habit, if I start a picture in one book, I tend to like have to finish I don't have to but I most of the time I want to finish the picture anyway so it's fine but there are times where I think oh actually I would like to do this one too so I mean there are a couple where I do have a few whips I don't have as many as some people do because I understand you know sometimes you just want to do a different picture so I do understand that a lot of people do have lots of whips um and maybe that's something oh, that might happen to me more in the future I'm thinking um there are sometimes I am I do start a picture and I just don't feel it so I will just stop doing it but for the most part I end up doing the picture the whole way through because mostly I enjoy the picture and I'm like I actually want to finish it so I'm quite good with that but um I think now I've got this new sense of freedom as I'm not bound to do this finish this book anymore I feel like I probably will try and do a few pictures at the same time from different books just so I get a bit more 
because sometimes I get a bit stuck on certain elements of a picture and I'm like I don't know what colour to do this this or this so to be fair it would be good um to then work on a different picture when that happens or, or like if I know a picture might take a very long time to do because um I really want to do another picture in the Zemless Nova but they are very detailed and the next I want to do that book in order I've decided but unfortunately um the next picture is a massive double page spread to be fair I don't think it would take me a really long time because it's mostly sky so I could use like paint and stuff to do that um but I just know that I I really want that to look good so I think I would rather spend my time on it and just do and just do bits at a time on the picture because that's what I did with the first picture in the book and I found it was much more enjoyable and I found like it went the way I wanted rather than um you know looking not so great to me so um I think it's probably a good idea to do that now what is that behind her I'm just gonna make it part about the background because I don't have a clue oh no it's part of a jumper okay that's fine although I think I might need to do that under bit there with the blue that's there's a bit of hair there that i missed um i don't know what i'm gonna leave her lips in a moment because i don't i think i'm just gonna do them in pencil like this bit here there we go right and her skirt so i wasn't really sure what color to do her skirt right at the bottom i'm just gonna tip you forward a little bit so you can see this skirt right at the bottom i was thinking of doing it maybe like i think i might do it a darky green maybe i'll do it this jade green Um, yeah, maybe I'll just do it this jade green. I always feel I end up using the same shades for everything. This is a Spectrum Noir uh, marker again, and it's just jade green. And um, we'll just do the whole thing in green. Um, yeah, I always end up using blue, purple, pink, and green. I swear, in every single picture of mine. I mean, some you know, a lot of the time it's like different shades. But these just seem to be my favourite colours. <laughs> and just the when I think of colour combos, I just feel like these colours go together so well all the time. So I think for January onwards, I'm going to try and use, like, different colour <laughs> combos. Not all the time. I will, I will use the colours I want to use. But I think I'm going to try and use more, say, like, the colours I don't normally use. Or different, like, maybe purple and, I know, purple with a different colour rather than with blue and pink all the time um just because i think it would be nice to try and just develop my ow that really hurt just to try and develop um different color combos and things like that so i think i'm going to try and do that in january onwards or probably from now onwards um but it does depend on the picture because sometimes you look at the picture and you're like oh this like i could have done this red and green like the christmas colors but i just felt like i wanted to do a light blue jumper and normally i do darker blue so um okay so now we've done the whole base of everything and as you can see on the back it has gone through this cardboard thing so luckily it's not gone through the um the duplicate on the other side and then this is what it looks like on the back which i quite like actually i love seeing the back of these so um now we can put pencils on top so that is something i will do so as i don't want this video to be super dupery dupery long i will go and select what colors i'm going to use and i will i will just start filming when with coloring with the pencil and we'll see how we go and if if i feel like the video is starting to get quite long with it then then um i'll just do bits and then move on to other sections just because i I'm trying to see if I can get this whole <laughs> this whole thing done in one video kind of thing or maybe two parts um and then the background I'm thinking of just using some acrylic paint I don't know if I'm gonna bother with this snow but then I feel like because you're gonna see the snow through her <laughs> I'm gonna have to put snow on it so um I'll be back like in two seconds <laughs> right um so I have chosen the colors to use for so pretty much everything I think Although I forgot the tree. Oh well, we can do that later. Um, so, I'm going to start with her hat, I think. Um, I'm using Prismacolor pencils just because I think I've got a good range of colours to use for it. So, um, And I do have a lot of space on my desk to put tons and tons of different pencils. So I'm going to see if I can make 
I need my lamp brighter. No, that's too dark. I think that's as bright as I can get it. I feel like it's not super bright in my room. Because <laughs> the light really is shining above my bed. So, oh wow. Well. Let's see if I can move my lamp a little bit. That's a bit better. So we'll do her hat first. So I'm using Diozine Purple Hue, which is PC132. And Parma Violet. No, Imperial Violet, sorry. My Imperial Violet is so tiny, though. Uh, I cannot read you the number anymore. So it's got 007 in it, but I don't know what the first number is. So <laughs> um, I'm just going to use those to start with. So um, this I'm just going to... This is my darker colour just to add a bit of depth into it. So I am pressing a bit hard around the edge but then feathering it out where I want to kind of blend the other colour in with it. And then obviously I will have this colour be like the lightest colour. So we'll just do this end as well on this side. I think I'm going to do these white so I'll probably get a grey pencil and um somehow make them kind of look... Why I still I always feel like they end up looking completely just grey in the end and not even white. So that's something else I'd like to quite be quite uh, good at is trying to make white. So um if you don't put this pen down, you can use pencils, but I just find you end up getting a lot of like white, um and you have to press quite hard to get rid of it. So it's it just gives you a bit more of a smoother like finish. So this is the Imperial Violet, so I'm trying to get it a bit lighter. I might have to get one of my other pencils just to sort of blend it into this colour a little bit. That's similar to this colour. I might do that in a second. So you can either like leave some of this to be underneath, or you can completely cover colour over the whole thing. So it just depends like what you prefer. I think I will get my other. I'm going to get Imperial imperial violet or i don't know is this one the palma violet there we go my palma violet is tiny so that's one zero zero eight um really i should use this in the pencil extender too but because i've already got a pencil in there i'm not gonna do that so and i might but to be fair I'm probably because it's quite a small bit i am just coloring over the whole thing because this is pretty similar to this color anyway so we'll we'll use this color as well with it just because I think that will help. Because sometimes until you start colouring, you don't actually know how it's going to look. So as I said, this diazine purple isn't like going to be used loads. It's just to add a bit of darker depth into it. And it's just around the edges. So I was trying. <laughs> I have a few wind hats. But I have unfortunately got a ridiculously small head. Like my head is the size of a child's head. It's horrible because I can never get hats to fit on me. Oh well, I managed to finally find like a nice sort of summery one that looked quite nice when I went to Australia. But the problem is, is it quite easily could fall off my head. But at least I look nice with it. Um, if I put my hair in a bun, it kind of wedges it on my head so then it doesn't fall off. Um, so that looked nice. But a lot of like baseball caps and things, they tend to be too big for my head. Not all the time. Just like I've got a proper baseball hat one from the San Diego Padres from when I went there when I was like 15 and it's too big for my head so it look like I can wear it but it doesn't it doesn't look terrible but it looked better if it fit my head and um, I find the same with like winter hats like bobble hats or you know any sort of hat like I find it really hard to get any to fit my head because they're normally too big and then they just look ridiculous and they don't look nice um so I was in the north phase yesterday trying to see because they do um I went on their website and they do like junior sized hats that don't have like animals or you know like they're obviously child hats um because I don't mind ones with animals on you know that's fine I have a Miko hat again from Disneyland which I wear occasionally um he's the raccoon from Pocahontas in case you don't know who he is um but you know I kind of also want just like a normal hat just a plain one that fits my head I managed to find some in there, the youth size ones, and they did fit my head. The only problem is, is I just didn't look that nice with them on, and I thought, why, why? I finally find a hat that fits, and I have to look, well, I didn't look horrible, but my sister, she looked at me and was like, no. And I was like, oh. <laughs> 
but I, I don't know, I'm tempted, I'm tempted to go back in there again, because they had a few other ones, so I, I might give them a try, just because my, my current hat, which I really love, because it's, um, a Canadian Olympic one that I bought, it is too big for my head, and I, I'm able to, like, fit it on where it looks okay, but when it gets really cold, because it's too big, it's obviously a bit gappy, so the cold air goes through my hat, basically, because it, and it, my ears, and the, base of my head always is cold so I have I've decided it's probably because it doesn't fit my head properly that I need to get one for when it is a lot colder to actually like keep my head warm so um they had some nice-ish ones in the North Face but I might have a look at H&M because my friend got one from the men's section when we were in Edinburgh a couple of years ago um just a plain like beanie one and when I was over there for fe in February for my birthday um, she, I didn't bring a hat, because I, I don't know why I didn't bring a hat, I just didn't bring one, because I was silly, um, my head was cold, and she let me borrow it, and surprisingly, it fit my head, even though it was a men's one, and men have bigger heads, it fit me, and it looked nice, um, so she got it from H&M a few years ago, so I'm gonna see if I can find one again, maybe in there, I don't know, it's like, um, I can't remember the name of the brand, but they always do gloves and stuff around all the time. So I'm hoping that it's just a hat they have year on year and that it will be there. So I'll have to have a look and see if I can find that because that one looked quite nice. Um, but yeah, I just, I wish, I wish I had a normal size head because I know, I reckon that's also why I've got quite fine hair as well because I've got a small head. So there, of course I can't have a lot of hair on it because there's not, there's not a big head. So I do wish I had a slightly bigger head, just so one, I could look nicer in hats, and two, when I do, like, braids and stuff in my hair, like, I can do one braid and it looks fine, but if I do two, or try and do, like, a waterfall one or something, my hair's too thin, and it looks pathetic, so I just wish I had slightly thicker hair, so that when I did braids and things, they look nicer. <laughs> I know you could get, like, hair extensions and things like that, which will, like, obviously help, but, um... I'm going to take this cardboard thing out because there's a few, like, creases in it and I'm really worried it's going to, um, it's going to, I'm going to, I really need to change this one. I've used it loads, as you can tell. I'm going to stick this underneath. Um, yeah, I just, oh, I think that's the one thing I wish I could change about myself is have a bigger head and thicker hair. Not super thick hair, but, you know, slightly thicker. Because nobody wants super, super thick hair. Just because I've got a friend who does have super thick hair. And, yeah, she just she can't even put it really, like, in a ponytail. Well, she can put it in a ponytail. But I think, you know, when it's too thick, you find it really hard to put into any sort of hairstyle. Because it will just come out. But I also feel like, because my hair is quite thin as well, when I wear it down and it's windy, it just ends up looking like a bird's nest. Because I don't have enough hair to weigh it down to keep it, like, from not being super messy. I mean, everyone's hair does get, will get messy anyway, but mine looks even worse. Like, I feel like it looks literally like I've just been rolling in a field of hay or something. So I constantly need to, like, brush it. <laughs> but, oh well. <laughs> the troubles of having not, um hair that you would like <laughs> right so this is the palm of violet again so we will we be able to keep some of this original color in it now because that bit was just like too small so we couldn't really do it so um i'm like kind of pressing medium pressure so i can blend it into the other color but then i am sort of trying to do it lighter here so that we can kind of get an, a sort of try and get as seamless um as we can sort of blend into the here. It looks a bit funny anyway because you can kind of see the um the pen the, the one that ran out underneath. I'm so sad that that pen ran out. I'm really really sad. Um so yes. So here we go, it's looking starting to look quite good there. There we go. I think that looks nice. Okay. So, hmm, I think what I'm going to have to do is, I'll just do this, I'm going to have to do a bit of this off camera, I'm, I'm really sorry, it's only because, um, I really, I really would like to actually get this all done just in one video, I think, rather than have many, many parts, just because I know not everybody likes to watch, like, 12 parts, <laughs> not everybody wants to join in and colour this picture, if I'm honest, some of you might do, so if you do, 
please feel free. It would be really nice to like see you colouring it in. Obviously, if you don't have Prisma colour pencils or you don't want to use Prisma colour pencils, then you can use like whatever colours um, from whatever sets you have. You also could do this in a different colour. You don't have to do it in the colours that I'm doing it. So um, feel free to do as you wish. So I am hoping to do a video as well um, later of my swatch book so that you can kind of just see what it looks like because a few people have asked about it so um, I will try and do that soon. Maybe tomorrow I might do that quickly. So as it's Christmas Eve tomorrow, I can't believe it's Christmas Eve. I, I feel like December's gone really quickly but at the same time I feel like Christmas still feels like it's like a week or so away. I don't feel like it's like Tuesday, <laughs> like two days. Um, and I have my, I'm opening my last door on my advent calendar as well tomorrow. I get a lint for the Christmas, so I'm quite excited about that. It's not like a really big one, it's like a, a smaller one. Um, as I have a lint advent calendar, I have one every year. I feel, I swear, like, this year there's hardly been any chocolate advent calendars. Like, they've mostly been the sort of posh ones that have, like, gin or, I don't know, cosmetics or toys there seem to be a lot more of those around but they're really expensive though they can be like anywhere from 20 pounds to um like a hundred and i just feel like that's just like a whole present i mean i guess the idea is that it's like a present a day but no see for me if i had an advent calendar that was like a hundred pounds that would be my entire christmas present for the whole year for my parents so i'm like i kind of prefer to have lots of little things then have one thing well it depends i don't mind having one big thing if it's like you know i my, my sister for example she um in the black friday deal got this kitchen aid she's been wanting for ages now they're quite expensive so if i got like a kitchen aid for christmas just that i'd be fine because i understand they're expensive <laughs> um you know so that that sort of thing would be fine i do kind of want one but I have to wait till I have my own place before I can have a KitchenAid and then I've got to have money to be able to buy the KitchenAid as well because I think before I'd buy the KitchenAid I have to buy all the other necessities in the house first um, so I'm hoping one day one day in the future I can afford to buy something because it is ridiculous I'm, I know it's ridiculous everywhere house prices are just insane it's like what are you doing do you want everybody to con live with their parents forever or be homeless because that is pretty much what's going to happen <sighs> but they'll have to sort it out at some point because that will happen you will have mass homelessness and then you can't have people out on the streets that's not right so they will have to do something about it i just wish it was sooner rather than later like everyone else um, so has anybody got any like new year resolutions? Like I don't actually do resolutions or anything like that or, or not necessarily resolutions, but like, I mean, I guess I might set myself up some goals at last. So my goal was, as you know, was to finish a coloring book. So I've done that. So I think this year my goal was just to, I guess, try and color more pictures <laughs> in different books. I don't know. Um, I guess get a bit better at watercolours would be quite good or like you know trying to use all my mediums um, I have all the sets of pencils I think would be good as well so try and use that so we're back to the Parma Violet now just to kind of blend it in a little bit I think that would be good um, I'm hoping that I can get myself career wise a full time job somewhere that is one thing I would like to do because I mean technically I'm full-time supply but obviously I only get work when there is work so as in someone has to be sick or on a training day or they're on like I don't know something's happened they could be really sick and they're off for a few weeks or months or you know something else and it's sad because like I don't want that to happen to people like I don't want them to have to be sick or have to take off long periods of time due to I know mental illness or something because I kind of feel like bad for the person um but then I'm like it's good for me because it means I can work woohoo <laughs> but I'd prefer I prefer not to but yeah I'm hoping that I can get 
you know, I also would also like to get the Canadian visa this year. That would be lovely. There's no guarantee. <laughs> so we'll have to see. Um, so fingers crossed on that one. If not, then hopefully maybe I get something somewhere else. So I think the way I've, I have to look at the world now is that, okay, so this didn't happen. Well, maybe that's just because it wasn't meant for you and something else will. Now, that really could not be the truth in actual fact at all but I, I think it's better to see it that way than get really upset and cry about it if I'm honest because I did do that when I first left uni because I found it so incredibly hard to get a job because of course it, the job market is just completely competitive um everyone's trying to get a job there's obviously not enough in some sectors I mean there are plenty of jobs but it's just it might not be in what you want it to be in and things like that so um yeah it can be a bit tricky so we're gonna do her skin now um i am gonna use seashell pink first so i'm, I'm trying to e experiment a bit more with different colors also um i was very lucky kp she gave me a good um color combo for skin for lighter skin so i'll use that but i'm not going to use it for this i'm going to use some elements so i'm going to use the seashell pink which was one of the ones that she used. But I'm going to use seashell pink, nectar, light peach, and for some sort of... Bl I want her to have, like, sort of... Well, not rosy cheeks, but pinky cheeks. So we will use blush pink for that. So, um... And I might use a bit of burnt ochre as well, or some sort of brown, because I don't want it to be super dark. So I'm, I'm just experimenting, which I think I'm going to try and do a little bit more as well. So this is seashell pink, which is PC1093. And we'll just kind of use it to sort of put where some shadows be it's very similar i think to this copic that we've used so you're not really going to see much i'm afraid but i'm just going to put it down where some sort of shadowy thingies would be i think oh my god i feel like i need to um blow my nose i might have to do that off camera shortly Unfortunately, I've had a cold for over a week now because I obviously I work with children, so unfortunately you pick things up, and um, I'm very annoyed because I have you. I've gone through. I use toilet paper instead of tissue just because we don't really buy tissues in my family. So I use to toilet roll. I've gone through two two lots of toilet roll. That's how bad my nose has been, and I was working somewhere this week and they had a box of tissues and then I obviously used most of them and then they didn't have another box so it was horrible I had to like keep getting toilet paper from their their obviously when I went to the toilet and stuff and like stuffing loads of it down my sleeve so that I had some something to blow my nose with which was quite funny um so I think it's starting to sort of disappear dissipate a little bit now I've not had to blow my nose as many times as I had the last few days I'm hoping it will be completely cleared up by Christmas, but I'm so worried I'm going to get another cold just because a lot of the children I've been in contact with the last week have had colds. So oh, we'll have to see on that one. Um, it remains to be seen as to whether I'll be okay or not. So I, I hope so. Fingers crossed that I don't have another cold. Because... Yeah, I would really like it if I didn't. But I had so many colds last year, actually. I think I had about 20 or something. I don't know. It was literally... It w oh, I had to go like a week or so without having one, and then I'd ha get another one. I mean, they weren't terribly bad colds, though. They were like, you know, it might just be a few days that I felt a bit rubbish, and then then I was fine. Or it could be like I had a really bad one, like I have this time, which where it's like over a week where you feel I don't feel rotten I just feel like I'm obviously blowing my nose a lot um I've been quite lucky I tend to when I get have colds my head tends to be okay it might just be one day my head's a bit achy but normally um this is the nectar now pc10292 normally I'm um my head's quite clear I might get a bit tired though like my energy levels obviously aren't quite there so I was um clearing a cupboard out of my old room and putting stuff in the new one and I did that last weekend and that tired me out so much because obviously that was when I was really not feeling so great um I don't know if I really like the seashell pink so much in this I think I'm just going to use nectar so we're going to ditch this I mean you can't really see it, it just it's literally the same color as the pencil so I think if I wasn't I didn't have this already down I think it would be fine but 
um, I would use it but because I already have it down there I just don't think it works so we'll just use this nectar and then maybe some of the burn oak and we'll see how that goes <laughs> so um yeah I did I did feel a bit tired I'm glad I haven't had ballet this week because it finished the week before so I've been able to rest that way as well which has been nice I did have to because that's the thing last weekend it was she does like this special Christmas um like free lesson like a little a little Christmas celebration thing and we did a dance she choreographed a dance a dance uh to the oh, a great shaman song it was really funny because on the the day before so I had ballet on a Friday and it was on a Saturday this thing so she was telling us like what song it was and she said oh come alive but she didn't say who it was by and I was like come alive I was like what come alive by the Foo Fighters because I love the Foo Fighters and it's a song they have a song called come alive and then she and I thought that was a bit weird because I thought well she normally does musical numbers I was thinking this is a bit weird her doing a Foo Fighters song and then she was like oh come alive from the greatest show and I was like okay <laughs> I was like I was gonna say I don't think I mean it's a good song but it's like not the sort of one you would necessarily do a jazz dance to or something like that um but yeah it was great fun like she um is good for these Christmas ones she doesn't make the dances too complicated so because there's a whole bunch of us of different levels so some people are quite experienced some people with no experience or limited experience so she's quite good she choreographs it so that you can kind of remember it easily but also so it's not too difficult for everyone but um I've done a few of her jazz workshops which have been really great but um some of the things are quite fast or you know they're for pe they're meant to, because she, again she's got to cater for people who are beginners but people who are a bit more you know experience and of course you know you don't want to be bored because everything's super easy so I get that so some of that I've found has been a bit tricky for me to do just because I don't really do jazz dancing so it's a bit different to ballet um so she has um obviously catered that so it's a bit more faster paced but um but I've enjoyed them actually I didn't do the last one just because I was trying to save some money and it was also Madonna and I'm not a massive fan of Madonna she's okay but we I really enjoyed the last one we did because we did um Chicago and that was really good we did um and all was it all that jazz yeah we did all that jazz we did a dance and because it was like quite 1920s I really enjoyed it because I have to say like I've discovered from doing tap dancing which I've stopped doing now just because I wasn't really enjoying it anymore I just felt like I could do most of it but there are times when I just couldn't do it because she again she goes like I need an in-between beginners and in-between intermediate because I can I can do the speed but I can't always get the steps right and there's a lot to remember because you'd have like basically a whole dance routine like the exercise would be like a dance routine in itself almost and there'd be several of them and then I couldn't remember them every week and if I missed a week I was doomed um I think if I could have gone twice a week it probably would be okay but unfortunately I wouldn't have the time to do that all the money so um yeah it's a bit sad because I did enjoy I did enjoy, enjoy the tap but she did say I could do beginners but I just I found the beginners too boring because I could just do it so it was like so simple I could do it really easily and then when somebody would say oh I don't get this bit and I'd be you know we'd go over it enough for another five minutes I'd just get so bored which is absolutely fine for that person because I get it sometimes you need to go over it several times like you know we're all different but you know I was like I'm getting bored <laughs> I don't want to do don't want to just sit here anymore so um I just decided I wasn't if I'm not enjoying it don't torture myself don't make myself do it if I'm not enjoying it so much so um also like I didn't like the the people in the class were nice but unlike the ballet like they seemed to have already formed like a kind of clicky group already I mean not clicky clicky they weren't horrible they were all kind to you and all that but I just felt like a bit left out in some ways like not left out but like you know and when people are all like chummy and then you're not chummy it kind of makes you feel a bit like lonely I mean I didn't feel lonely but you know if you kind of get what I mean whereas in the ballet classes it's different and um yeah I just definitely prefer the ballet ones <laughs> so I'm gonna put her um blush in now so this is a blush pink I decided she could have I don't know maybe I should do red I kind of think I want her to have pink pink cheeks pinky cheeks and then we're just gonna try and I feel like I went a bit overboard there but oh well <laughs> 
so yeah, um, I've just decided from tap and doing this jazz thing that actually ballet, classical ballet, not modern ballet, classical ballet, is the pretty much the only sort of dance that I like love to do dance myself, but also to watch. Um, I mean, I will watch other dances. Like I'm not like really snobby and be like, oh, I don't like any other dance other than this dance. Um, but I just find for me that I just enjoy that. Like, I've seen some modern ballets, like this Matthew Ball guy does, like, modern ballets, but they don't wear point shoes, they don't really wear ballet shoes. I mean, it was kind of cool, but I just, it's not the sort of ballet I like. And then I don't like modern dance. Ugh. I just, and a lot of those dance shows, like, So You Think You Can Dance or something, this is burnt ochre, I'm going to use that just to um, make a bit of shadow. And then we'll go over with a light peach and maybe the nectar again. Um, yeah, so you think you can dance, like, they have a lot of, um, modern dancing stuff on there, and I just, I'm not, I'm really sorry, but it's just, I feel like all you do is, like, roll on the floor a lot and floppy, <laughs> I mean, it's quite, it is, it is quite interpretive and expressive, so it, it, it is a good dance, but it's just not something I actually enjoy watching, <laughs> um, I don't know, I've never actually tried it, so actually, if I danced it myself, I might enjoy it a bit more, but, um, it's like jazz. I I didn't mind jazz, but I just I find I want I want to do ballet arms. I want to do ballet stuff. So I decided actually I just really like ballet. So, um, if I could, I would just focus all my time on ballet. If I could, I wish um I do wish I had done it as a, when I was a child. Now, but unfortunately, I that just wasn't what I was into when I was little. I was like really didn't like anything girly. I mean nowadays, of course. It doesn't have to be girly or seen as a boy thing. It can be a boy and a girl thing. But um, sort of, you know, I mean, even... I mean, not everything back then was totally like, this is definitely a boy's thing or this is definitely a girl's thing. But, like, I kind of feel like, obviously, it is more recently where a lot of people are starting to think, you know, boys can play with dolls. Girls can do football. You know, we can both do both things. It's fine. Like, no toy is def def definitely assigned to a certain gender or anything like that. So, but, um, so I didn't like obviously really want to do ballet because I mean I don't think I even thought about it to be fair. Um, I want I did gymnastics though that like I enjoyed. So um, I think that's kind of helped me with my flexibility a little bit though. So that's good. Um, I want to try and get more flexibility, but I don't know how you do that. <laughs> I guess you just have to keep stretching every day. But then I get I'm really lazy and I tend to not do that. Because I'll do it for like a few days and then I'm like, I'm bored now. I don't want to do that. But I really should try. Maybe that's what I could do as a New Year thing. Try and work on my flexibility for ballet. So I can, you know, get... I mean, I've got quite good strength. Like, I've got... Oh, this is the nectar again. I have good strength. But I could do with being a little bit more flexible. Like, I'm not like... I'm quite more flexible than some people, I think, in my class. Not everybody. There are some people who are definitely more flexible than me. But I'd love to be able to, like, eventually do the splits one day. One day would be nice. But in order to do that, you would have to stretch yourself out every day. So maybe I should really try and commit myself to spending five or ten minutes a day trying to just work on some sort of exercises that will strengthen my flexibility or make me more flexible I don't know maybe maybe that's what I should try and do now I'm going to use the light peach and I'm kind of going to go over things so maybe I should try doing that I think I might because I would like to, I, I don't know I kind of feel like I want to improve all the time I'm always thinking about how I can improve like how, what can I do with my arms how can I move my head I think about those things all the time. And um, I know not everybody in the class always necessarily thinks... I mean, they all want to improve and they all do work on things. But I don't know if, like, everyone else is like me and thinks, oh, I need, I should do this, this and this. So, um, yeah, it'd be, it'd be quite intriguing. Let's see if I can maybe... I'm pretty sorry. She does do these ballet fit classes as well. So it's kind of like more fitness thing, but with ballet technique. So it does, it helps your technique and it does help your strengthening, you strengthening yourself and things like that. But the thing is, it's like, because there's seven pounds a session and well, I don't have loads of money, I can't always afford to go. But also because I'm on a, well, they're actually not always on a Saturday now. She's now got them on a Monday and a Friday, but they're at five o'clock. So that's a bit, you know, cut. I, I basically won't really make it. And then if I do, I do my ballet class on a Monday and a Friday, which means I have an hour between that class and then my when my ba other ballet class starts to eat food so um i basically don't have the time to do it in the week 
but I, I can occasionally on Saturday because some Saturdays I just want to sleep or I'll be going out with a friend or I'll be doing something so um, I think hopefully I can go to a couple of those in the year because I didn't really make I think I did one this year this like from September to December I did one because I didn't have loads of money <laughs> as unfortunately it takes a little while for you to earn some money in supply because you don't you're not needed at the start of the school year as much um but now we're starting to get stuck in so I think I can probably afford to do the odd one now here and there and then hopefully that will build my strength up a bit but my gosh it really the next day your legs are like dead <laughs> or your whole body's dead so it is a good workout though and um, I think that's good because I feel that's the thing. Now I don't do tap. I feel like I feel bad because it's less exercise I'm doing now. And I feel like I shouldn't be doing less exercise. But, you know, you don't always have the time. And to be fair, doing dancing two times a week and, you know, walking about or, you know, just being active in general is fine. So it is good. But like, I don't know. I just like I like to try and keep as active as possible <laughs> or as much as I can. Because I do sit down and colour quite a lot and then that's not good for you. Okay, I think that will do for the skin. It's not perfect. See, this is something I'm still working on. How to do skin, how to do shadows, because I find it really hard to figure out where you put them in. I need to do some more grayscale ones to help me sort of figure that out. So, um, I didn't want to have, like, super dark brown and stuff in it because I don't want her to look too dark. So, oh gosh, Tilly made a massive, like, sound as she jumped down. So, that's that done. Um... Right, how do you feel like this video is going to be super long? <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me for coughing. Um, right, we could do her jumper. I think I'm probably going to have to come back and do the background another day. So actually, what I might do is I think I might end it here. So we will have to have two parts. So what I will do is in the next part we can do the leaves hair or actually should I do some of the hair now I might do some of the hair now before we go but we'll do the jumper we'll do the leaves the pears the little partridge thing this plant pot and then the background in the second part is what we will do but I will just do her hair quickly and then I'll and then hopefully I'll figure out what color I want to do her eyes because I have no idea <laughs> and it's really bugging me so um I'm going to use this is dark umber but it's now pc947 because I'm fortunately is very short so um this is my dark color that i'm gonna use so i'll just do this bit of her hair i think i won't do the whole thing so apologies i know some people like to see me do the whole thing but i don't have the time to sit here um i mean i do have time to sit here but i might run out of something to, things to say one thing and um also um the video will just be ridiculously long. Um, I am sort of, I'm contemplating about whether to talk to you, do a bit of chatting and all that, um, you know, for most of the video, but then when I've got, say, all this hair, I'll talk, I'll talk and show you how I do some most, you know, a bit of the hair, but then I could do the rest of it and then speed it up, if you get me, so I'll keep filming, but I won't talk, and then it will just be like a sort of mini speed colouring slash non so it's a video with a bit of speed coloring in it but there will be like real time coloring in it too so i have no idea how to do this though so there's something i'm gonna have to work out but if i can figure out how to do it i might do that because then you can see the whole picture being done and then i don't have to you know try and because that's the thing sometimes it's hard to think of things to say uh which is quite funny considering i do talk an awful lot but <laughs> <coughs> It is hard. It is hard to try and think of things to say sometimes. So, um, I think that would probably be best, and it would also save my voice as well because um, sometimes your voice is like very dry after talking for a long time. So that's something I might try doing because that way then you can see the whole thing if you want to. And then if you're not interested in seeing me colour the whole hair, you can always skip forward. That is fine. I don't mind if people um, you know, like to just watch certain bits of my videos and skip bits that's fine um same for which is something that you could do when i show you my completed pics because obviously i talk about how i do them because i did have somebody say that they they just wanted to see the pictures and not the talking and that and the only reason why i talk though is because 
I'm telling you what I'm using, which I think for the most part, most of you like to know and see. But obviously, if that's not your sort of thing, then A, you don't have to watch, or B, you could just skip through the talking and just see the complete fix that way. So, you know, that is fine. I am totally open-minded and fine with how you wish to view videos. I swear Tilly just went outside to scratch the carpet and has now come back in the room. You're probably wanting some food, aren't you? <sighs> Yeah, because it might, it's probably about 4.30, so yeah, she'll, she'll have her food soon. I mean, she can have some treats now, but I tend to feed her at about 5.30. My dad's terrible, though, like, because he, he basically thinks she's begging for food all the time. And okay, maybe occasionally she'll do that, but a lot of the time she's just, like, there staring at you. So I think he just thinks, oh, she wants food, I should give her some. And I'm like, no, don't give her any. She'll be fine, she'll survive, but she didn't have any for, like, a moment or two. And it's really annoying me because he keeps thinking that's all she wants. Now I'm going to use Sienna Brown. But that's not the truth. <laughs> Oh, she's going, what are you doing? She's going under my chair and nudging me. What are you doing? You probably just want some attention. I'll give you some attention in a minute. I've just got to finish this hair. She's been really good as well recently. Like She hasn't wanted to come in, into my bed too much in the night because when I was in my old bed, it would be like sometimes like four or five times in a night she'd be wanting to come in. And if you don't let her in, she's just constantly tapping you and doesn't really, you know, she'll do that for ages. Eventually she does give up, but like, I just could, used to not be able to sleep because all I was thinking, all I was doing was basically letting her in my bed and then I couldn't get in a comfortable position because she's kind of led up against me. So um, now I've got my bigger bed. Yay, I finally have a double bed. Woohoo! Um, because I have a bigger room because in my old room you could not fit one in there. Um... So, she kind of has, I guess, half of the bed to herself now, so she's quite content. Um, so, she doesn't really come in my bed that often. She does occasionally, but not not a lot. Ooh. So now, I was going to use burnt ochre, but I don't feel like I need to now. I think that this will be fine as it is, because I do like this colour and I kind of wanted this to come through. Now, I do have ginger root, so I'm going to use a touch of ginger root, which is PC1084. I'm going to use a touch of this just um, to sort of blend the edges in but I'm going to go kind of lightish because I want I want this colour to come through so I'm not going to use an awful lot of it I'm just a tiny bit and I'm, I'm going quite light with this so it's just to add a little bit of highlights I guess is what you would say so that's kind of how I've done this is kind of how I'm going to do the hair like that I hope you can see it I hope I'm just so worried because it's so dark. <laughs> um, so yeah, hopefully that's fine. So that's how the hair's going to look like. So I will do the rest of the hair off screen. I will do some of this, some of these leaves, because let's face it, they'll take time. You don't need to see me do the whole bush of leaves. So I will do a few of the leaves. Um, I may even do the partridge off screen just because it requires a lot of colours and I need to look at a picture of it. So apologies if you don't end up seeing how I do the partridge. Um, and then, um, and then yeah. So we'll come back, we'll do a few bits and then we'll do the background and her eyes. Um, and then that should be this done. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully see you in part two. Uh, as I say, feel free to let me know what you're doing about Christmas, um, or any Christmas pictures you've been doing, or if you're doing this picture. Love to hear from you, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.